All right, so here we are on site on the ground floor of our current project. I'm going to talk to you about some of the damp proofing, uh, chimney removal, uh, and kitchen fitting that we're doing. Just come in here, Michael. This is uh, the first reception room as was. It's now going to be a bedroom. Nothing unusual about this, fairly standard. Boarded out, ready for skimming. But come into this room. This will be the living room for the students. And uh, it had a particularly large chimney breast, which made it very awkward to fit sofas in these alcoves to the side of the chimney, often pretty much wasted space. So thankfully the chimney upstairs is only very shallow and we're able to remove the chimney on the ground floor to a depth of just 15, 20 centimetres. We're going to block this up to support the chimney upstairs so that there's no uh, steel beams or lintels needed. And we're just going to have a chimney, chimney depth of 15, 20 centimetres. So we can actually put a, an L-shaped sofa or whatever and the TV on the wall there and make maximum use of the room. Concrete with a uh, damp proof membrane uh, to go in there. And uh, we've rendered these walls so they're nice and smooth. And we're going to render the back here and round these little brick pillars. And then we're going to tank them. And uh, we're tanking with a KA tanking slurry. This is it here, you can buy it from Wix, there are lots of different products. It's a powder, you mix it with water and it turns into a paste and then you brush it onto the wall and as long as the wall has a fairly smooth finish, uh, you brush it onto the floor and I actually overlap the floor so that it seals it entirely uh, and then stops any damp coming through. The render, the sand and cement mix, has a waterproofer in it, an SBR waterproofer, so that will stop the water soaking through it anyway and tracking up the wall. And if, if you see over here, this is where we've already applied the KA tanking slurry. This section of wall is a good example. We first of all rendered it to fill all the gaps between the bricks and then we've given it two coats of the slurry and although it's dusty, it's gone right onto the floor. You brush on one way and then brush on another and it fills all the little nooks and crannies and seals the wall completely. And as you can see, this wall's bone dry now, all the way down. We've We've done it in this room, this, room, this wall's damp because that's where our water supply is for the building works. Um, and we've not gone far up the wall, this, this wall didn't look like it suffered from any damp in here, so it's more of a precaution. Um, I'm fairly paranoid about damp, so if I'm doing a job, I treat it even if it's not there, I make sure the walls are waterproof because it's nothing worse than plastering a new house and then finding that the plaster's damp when you've skirted, skirted out the room and painted it. Um, so this will be our kitchen.